Welcome to the survey to go scripting training course. My name is David and I'm one of the scripting managers here in Dublo and I'll be hosting this course along with Daniel Stoltz for my team. Now the purpose of this course is to allow scripters to get up and running with survey to go and get a complete understanding of the system and how to uh, use it to script questionnaires. Now this course is quite comprehensive and we're going to deep dive into a lot of details however if you prefer just a quick and easy um, getting started course which dives directly into scripting and has none of that um, module one module two module three a deep dive course um, you can actually have a look at our quick um, getting started course I'll include a link to that down below in the links, but it's on our support site and it's a basic scripting quick training and it jumps directly into the actual uh, scripting along with the adding screeners, LSMs, scales, looping, filtering, piping, deployment and all that. And it's just the tip of the iceberg, but it gives you a very good understanding of how to get up and running. However, this course, is a more deep dive and meant to give you a much more better understanding of how to use survey to go studio as a scripter and how to create your project more effectively and uh, tackle much more problems so the prerequisites of this course uh, we actually assume that you are familiar with windows of course you are familiar with operating a web browser you can operate basic applications, Excel, and all of that. And um, other than that, though, we don't require any prerequisite, uh, no knowledge of survey to go We're going to start at the beginning uh, with the um, survey to go organization registration and then uh, downloading and installing the studio. And we're, I'm going to walk you through uh, and navigate the studio, show you where the scripter um, needs to uh, put all the scripts and we're also going to do a step-by-step -step stuff like creating a new survey adding questions and all of that now in this module uh, we'll start with uh, downloading studio and logging in then navigating it and creating a new survey so let's jump right ahead so step number one is to make sure that you have a survey to go organization name now, this requires someone from your company to actually register a survey to go organization name. But if you uh, already did that, so if one of your company, um, one member of your company already registered, you don't have to do that again. So it's one organization per company. If you don't have the details and uh, you're pretty sure that nobody in your company has created an organization, you just go to our site, www.dublo.net then click the green try survey to go free button and then fill out the details uh, choose a username and a password whatever you put in the company name will become your survey to go organization name um, and then you click on the create my account and it's done it's about 30 seconds and you're done uh, if you have the details already someone mailed it to you then you don't have to go through that step now downloading the survey to go studio is done right here from the top there are a couple of menu items the fourth one is downloads you click on that and then you click on download the survey to go studio now the site might look a little bit different because we're upgrading the site but the major links will remain there so you can download the studio right from here and then installing it is just like installing any other Windows software, just clicking on next, next, next through the wizard, and you'll get Survey to Go up and running. So, as soon as you have Survey to Go up and running and installed, you're going to run the studio, and the first thing you're going to notice is a login page. And the details here, the username, password, and organization, should match either the details you put in the registration form, or if somebody mailed you a username and a password and organization name. That's what you want to put in here. So let's go right ahead and uh, log in. 
And now as soon as we're logged in, uh, this is the actual studio application. This is where you control everything from. This is as a scripter where you're going to script from. And um, you have on the left here a management tree. Now there are a lot of nodes here. The one that currently only interests you as a scripter is this one, the customers and projects node. The other ones are not meant for scripters and you might even not see them based on permissions. So in addition to the actual tree right here, we have right here on the middle pane, the um, start page where you can actually have a quick links to create a new survey or watch the videos or submit a support ticket. I'm going to ignore this part for now because I want you to be able to do the, uh, all the necessary stuff right here from the tree. So step number one would be to um, expand the customers and projects. Then the way it works with survey to go is that um, each survey falls under a customer and a project. So you have a list of customers. So for example, we have McDonald's right here. That's um, your customer, McDonald's. And then I'll expand this node and I'll get to the projects node. And under that, you can have one or more projects. Now, in my case, I have here the McDonald's store audit project, but I could have multiple projects right here. And if I expand the project, I get to the actual project nodes. Now, one of these is the actual surveys node. This is the one that interests you as a scripter, since right in here, you're gonna find one or more surveys that are associated with this project. That's right. So a survey can have, or a project can have multiple surveys in the project. Usually it's just one, but it can be a couple. There's no limitations. And if I expand the surveys node, you'll see it's actually very conveniently divided into three categories. The first is surveys that are in draft. That means that are still being scripted. We have the surveys that are, are active, which means they are deployed to the tablets and are in the field. And then we have the surveys that are closed. These are, of course, projects that ended or surveys uh, that ended for the project. Now I'm going to expand here. The draft doesn't have any surveys here. The active one does have the McDonald's store audit survey and the closed at the moment doesn't have any of these surveys. So if survey, if you deploy it, runs from the draft category into the active one. And then once you set it to close, it's going to move over to the closed category. Now, of course, if you want to open up the survey, it's just a matter of double clicking on the survey, and this will immediately open up the survey in the studio. Once the survey is open in the studio, you'll see that the uh, management tree just disappeared right here on the left side. And instead we have the actual survey design area and we call that the survey designer. But in case you want to get that management tree back and usually you do, we've included that uh, small right arrow that you, button that you can click right here. And this brings back the survey um, management tree. Now this takes up a lot of space or you can make it a little bit um, smaller, but it does take a lot of space. So for convenience use, you can toggle it back and forth uh, if you need more space. So usually when you're scripting, you want to have more space. And then when you're managing stuff, you want to have uh, the tree, obviously. So we'll close this survey. And next up, we want to see how to create a new customer, create a new project in that customer and a new survey under that project. So to start, there's on the top left here, there's a menu item that allows you to create either a new survey, a new customer, a new project, a new user, what have you not. So we're going to start with a customer and I'm going to call it the scripting training course. And that just created my new customer. The uh, screen will refresh and you'll see right here the scripting training course. And now if I expand this, obviously it's an empty customer. There's no projects yet. So I can either right click here and click on create new project, or I can go to the uh, new menu and click on project to create a new project. And a project name is going to be um, module one. And I'll click on next. I'll confirm it's for the scripting training course customer. And then lastly, I 
need to choose whether to add a survey to this project or not. So I can either say yes and then give the survey a name or click on no and create an empty project. And I'm going to do that just for the sake of showing you how to create a new project, set a new survey separately. So I'll click on next and click on finish. And if everything is correct, I'm going to have now a new project under my projects node. It's called module one. And then underneath that, we have the different nodes. Now, just so you understand, although not necessary, I'm going to cover real quick the different nodes here. Um, although the only one that really is important to you as a scripter is the surveys node. So the operations node that brings up the operations console necessary for quality control. You get access to the different interviews that were done. You can approve them, reject them, etc. The surveyors node um, allows you to manage which interviewers are assigned to this project. And then the collected data node allows you to export the data output file. Tabulation allows you to run some quick analysis of the data. GPS tracking allows you to monitor where the interviewers are and where the interviews are performed. Collected attachments um, gets you all of the um, photos, videos, or sounds that were added during the field work. You have direct access for the, from here. Quotas allow you to do some quota management. So although as a scripter, you'll be in charge of defining the quotas, and that's done from the survey design screen, the field work manager will be in charge of setting the targets and monitoring the progress. And that's done from here. And lastly, the dashboards will give you the ability to have some um, KPIs and field work reporting. This is usually important for the operations manager or the field work manager to make sure that everything is running smoothly. So if we expand the surveys node, you'll see that here we don't have any surveys as of now because we created an empty project. So our next step would be to create a new project. It will fall under the draft node because it was just created. And to do that, I'm going to click on the new and I'll select survey. So it gives the default survey name. I'll call it something else. I'll call it module one script and I'll click on next. So that's all. I'll click on finish. That will create the survey and open it up in the survey designer. So as soon as that's done, the survey opens up and again, the management tree is uh, gone and I'll open it up just to show you that we do have now a scripting training course module one script and it's under the draft node or the draft category. And in future modules, we're going to cover the survey modes that actually control where this survey is uh, labeled under. Uh, but for now, this is all uh, we need to know. So we downloaded Studio, we installed it, we logged in, we navigated it, talked about notes and created a new survey. The last thing I want to cover in this module is a uh, quick um, tutorial about how to put in support tickets. So obviously we have right here on the top or the bottom left, a support ticket button and on the top right. So clicking on that will open up a support ticket, but I do want you to be aware of our support center site so that you know how you can do that even from without the studio. So for that, I'm going to open up my browser and I'll click on the support center um, tab. This just support.doobl.net will get you here. And this is a very easy to navigate support a knowledge base where you can search for everything you'd like to know. So for example, if you'd like to create, I don't know, an LSM section, or you know what, if you would just want to get a list of the functions that we have, you can just click on functions. It gives you immediately the survey to go built in functions handbook link. You'll be able to access it. So very easy to search and navigate our site. And then we have the actual categories, which for example, includes sample surveys um, that include survey patterns and user guides like the on-demand video training uh, course, the quick course that I talked about, the implementation course that we have, how-to articles. So for example, we have 127 how-to articles about survey scripting and testing, like piping and filtering and a bunch of other stuff. Very interesting if you're a scripter, just open up these, this category and then start reading off. It's, it's very 
uh, useful. And then lastly, we have some troubleshooting guides in our services and webinars. In addition to just searching and reading and, and going through all of that material, if you want to open up a support ticket, you click on the submit a request tab. This is exactly the same as doing it from the studio, but it's easier because it's from the website and you can also, after you register for this, so after you fill in the details, you put in a support ticket, you can actually register and then you can check up on your existing request. So you'll see a very nice li uh, list of all of your requests. We use Zendesk for help desk monitoring. So all of your requests are streamlined into the Zendesk help system. And then our support team members work daily from 9 a.m. till 9 p.m. Uh, GMT plus two, that's Eastern Europe time. They work Sunday all the way through Friday, that's six days a week. And so you're very welcome to ask them anything related to survey to go, whether it be scripting question uh, questions or how to questions or uh, exporting question, whatever technical questions, uh, payment questions, whatever you'd like, you can ask them, you'll get a response back. It's ticket based, meaning email based, and they're very fast to respond. So that's all for module number one. Uh, thanks for watching.